Hi folks, so um, my new props have arrived. These are the APC 9, sorry, APC 8 by 6. Um, these are the ones with the thinner blades compared to these. So this is the one that burned the motor out with the Sunny Sky 1400 KV on 4S. And this is the, uh, the new one. Now I have discovered that these are actually designed for nitro base planes. So I don't know how well it's going to work, but I've got one to give it a try. So I'm going to put that on the AR Pro and take it and give it a try. But I'm going to compare it to this APC that I've got on here already, which is the 8x4.5. Um, and I have replaced the ESC, which had a 75 amp um, ESC in there, T-motor, with one of these Skywalker 50 amp ESCs, um, which is this particular ESC. So yeah, I'm going to try that because I had some power problems that I couldn't seem to be getting full power. So I've changed the ESC, I've changed the motor. Um, and then I'm going to do some prop tests. I'm going to do some tests with the 8x4.5, some uh, tests with this 8x6 um, nitro prop. Then I'm going to put my original motor on. Before I switched to this Sunny Sky Mark III 1400 kV, I was running this, um, this Brother Hobby Reunion. Um, this Brother Hobby Reunion is a 2318 1250, and I was running that with one of these Aero Nought Cam Carbon 9x5 props, and I really loved it, and it, it flew really well, and it seemed to have nice power. But then I was talking to Mark and um, he was talking about, you know, putting an 8x6 on it and it'd give me a bit more oomph. Well, it did give me a bit more oomph for sure, but obviously the motor burns out and that's no good. So um, I'm going to do a test. I'm going to test the plane with the Sunny Sky, the 8x4.5, the Nitro 9x, sorry, 8x6, and then I'm going to swap the motor over and put this on, this combination on, a 9x5 Aero Nought with this uh, Brother Hobby and take all the readings from the OSD of all the amp drawer, etc. Um, see how the flame flies, what the speeds are like, uh, and then my, make my decision of what setup I'm actually going to run because chopping and changing all the time is not good for, uh, you know, practicing your, your flying style because everything's changing. The only other thing I've really done to the, this test plane, um, I'm obviously I'm in progress with the uh, the build of the new plane. Is all the 3D prints for that and stuff. Um, I'm obviously using this as a test plane. So I've designed and built for this uh, this ESC uh, a new mount. So this is a new mount for for this ESC. Um, so it just clips on with some holes in the side with cable ties. So it's nice and neat. And all the cables fold underneath. Uh, so they're all neat and out of the way. So they. You know, it's, it's, everything's going to be super neat. So that, um, I've designed these little covers for the servos. I noticed that when you actually, on the wings here, when you actually cut out for where the, uh, the servos go, then the, the actual laminate starts to, you know, it starts to come up at the edges. So I designed those just to pop them on to keep it all flat. But ultimately, um, I don't need to have this T-piece possibly. So I've, I've redesigned it so we've just got just got that kind of shape. So um, on the new wings, once the, uh, the the cover, the laminate goes over the top of there, then that should just sit on there, I don't know, something like that, um, and keep that all neat and tidy because obviously the, the gaps here are gonna be covered by the laminate. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with that. Um, so yeah, um, the only other thing I've really done to this test plane, I must say, it's really good having a test plane that you can do all these different things to and go and test it is um, I've coated, you can see how shiny it is, but I've coated the, uh, the nose of the plane, just the underside a little bit in the nose, with um, E6000, and it's dry, and it's got a really strong kind of rubbery feel to it. I don't know how durable it's going to be, to be honest, but I'm gonna take it out in the field and do a few landings with it, um, and see how that works out, because you know, I could try and laminate this fuselage, but it's quite a complex shape, so, I think if this works out, that might be the way to go, just to give it a, you know, a coating of E6000 and get that rubberized kind of coating. So yeah, that's another thing to try. So I'm gonna take it out in the field, do all those tests, uh, because before I, I build the new plane, I want to really suss out exactly how I want this AR Pro to feel and fly and levels of efficiency and performance. So I might as well, while I've got this test plane, 
to mess around with, play around with motors, props, etc., uh, and all these other bits and pieces, bolts and elevons and stuff, to get it just right, and then I can build a couple of planes, which will just be perfect, hopefully. Okay, that's it, let's go to the field. Hi folks, so we're out in the field, it's pretty windy, it was decreasing, it's now picked up, it's probably 10, 12 miles an hour, uh, and kicking up to, I don't know, gusting at 18, maybe even 20 at times. Um, so, I tried the, uh, the APC, the thin bladed nitro um, APC prop, it just doesn't fit, it's a waste of time, the hub's too thick, it doesn't come with any spacers that fits these motors properly, and when you try and put it on it just doesn't seem centred, just not fit for purpose, not going to use that. So we're going to test the Sunny Sky um, motor, the, this is the 2216 1400 kV Mark III motor with an 8x45, then we're going to switch to the Brother Hubby Reunion motor. Um, I'm going to try that with the um, 9x5 aeronaut prop and then we're going to try that with the APC 8x6, the one that burned this motor out. Um, fly it gently, see what the temps are like, see what the amp draw is like and do some comparison. So we've got two motors, three different props, I'm going to try and find the combination that I like the best that works for me in the type of flying I want to do which is basically proximity, you know, maybe up to five kilometres out from time to time, nothing really long range. Um, want nice good uh, punch and, and good control. So yeah, we'll uh, do the first test with this prop and uh, then we'll follow on with the other two and uh, I'll try and get all the results on the OSD um, using Dashware so we can actually see in flight the differences between the three. Um, same conditions for all three so it's going to be a light for light test even though it is a bit windy. Okay, let's get that done. Okay, let's launch one. Sunny Sky, 8x4.5. <laughs> Lovely launch on that combo. Alright, let's do the tests in the same sequence for all flights. We'll just fly behind us and then we'll go down that line next to the truck and cruise out on that. I should get some altitude. It's about 120. Let's turn around. Alright, fly out on this line here in between those two pylons. Okay, up it into cruise. Let's go over that pile on there. So we've got the home arrow pointing directly back. Pretty much there. Fly over there. Okay, so let's drop the cruise throttle down. Right, 35% is the cruise throttle I've got set. It's settled now. 115 milliamp hours per kilometre. 35% throttle. 89, 88, 89 kilometres per hour. 115 milliamp hours, yep. So it's got a bit of a side wind here. Throttle, 87, 88, 89 kilometers an hour. 120 milliamp hours per kilometer. Okay, let's take it out of cruise. Bring it back towards us. And then we'll do A speed test. So I know this prop's going to be fine and it's not going to burn the motor. Let's just pop it into cruise on the way back and just see what we're pulling in terms of amps. Cruise mode. That's again cruise throttle. So 
So let's put them about 10 amps. Slightly into the wind now. Okay, about 10 amps. Ninety kilometers an hour. Okay, now let's go down towards the vehicle and we can then see. exactly where the road is. Let me do a speed test. So we'll do a speed test down this road towards the vehicle and that will have the wind behind us and then we'll turn around and do one the opposite direction. So we'll go around to this tree, around this tree, head towards the vehicle. So we'll try and get the same on all tests. Okay, get level, and then we'll punch it. Right, flat out. 150, 151. Hundred and fifty kilometers an hour. I'll give it a little bit of a breather. And we'll go the other way into the wind. Can't wait to get this new OSD on here. So we have to wait for the speed to come through on the uh, message line. Right towards the car. Right, against the wind, punching it. 123, 25, 26. Hundred and twenty-five. Take about twenty-five kilometers an hour off it for the wind. Love these elevons. This prop actually feels really nice. Quite balanced, not 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 super powerful, but at least I know it's going to be safe. Okay, let's now do a climb, see how it feels on the climb. Right, punching it. It's 36, 37 amps on a straight up climb. Okay, that's good. I like that. Yeah, so this feels nice. Not, not Glenn, you're messing about now. Stop messing about. You're supposed to be doing tests. You're supposed to be scientific. Holy crap, you're enjoying yourself again. Stop doing that. Right, let's bring this thing into the land and uh, switch the motors over. Put the fresh LiPo in. Okay, Brother Hobber Reunion, 9x5, cam carbon light. 
see how this goes. Didn't launch as aggressively. Still good though. Okay, let's do the same again. This is my old combo from before, before I switched to the, um, the sunny sky and I really liked it. There's the car, let's go in this field, turn around, back down that, that dike and push out, same kind of altitude. Okay. Return to launch. Ooh, wrong one. Cruise mode. Into cruise. Drop to the cruise throttle. Okay, this, yeah, that's where we went before, roughly that direction. Right, 35% cruise throttle, 91 ground speed, 98 milliamp hours per kilometre, 88 ground speed, 90 ground speed, 103 milliamp hours, It looks a bit more efficient, this set up. Return to launch. Okay, let's bring it back. And let's do a speed test. Make sure we clear those power lines. I think it might be a little bit quieter as well on this setup. Let's just do the cruise again. Cruise mode. Same position for the amp draw test. Eight amps, two amps less amp draw at cruise throttle for an 80 kilometer per hour ground speed. That is more, this is more efficient, this setup. Anyway, it looks like it is to me. I'm no super expert, but it looked like it is to me. Right, let's, uh, that's efficiency. Let's test uh, performance. So we'll go down here and we'll go against the wind. All right, she's against the wind and full throttle. Hundred and twelve. Hundred and seven to hundred and twelve. Well it's not as fast in that direction. That was a hundred and twenty-five I believe before. And then with the wind behind us, I believe we hit one fifty on the other setup. Right, 
It's not out. Hundred and forty seven, hundred and forty eight. So with the wind there's not that much difference. All right, let's do that climb test. All right, let's go. Push it. Climb, 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 climb. Yeah, definitely hasn't got as much grunt, but it's more efficient. That's how I feel how it flies stability wise and power curve wise when I'm trying to feather the throttle and everything else. Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel it's as responsive, but not too bad. It's a full throttle pass. Feels good though. Mind you, these elevons feel amazing. I've got to say, best thing I've ever done to this plane. I've learnt something now. Bolts of elevons in every plane I build from now on, that's for sure. Just feel so much more locked in. It's quite windy today. Sounds nice on this prop. Right, let's land it because I've only got two lipos and put the uh, APC 8x6 on it. This is the one that burned out the, uh, the Sunny Sky motor. So I'm going to take it really gently. I'm going to give it a, a full a bit of full power. I'm going to bring it into land. See how hot it is. Okay, nice dental landing. Okay, so we've now got the uh, the APC eight by six electric on uh, on the Brother Hobby. Reunion 2318-1250 kV. You're going to take this nice and steady. Return to launch. Ignition on. Hmm. Pretty feeble launch. Right, I've got much lipo left, so I need to do all this quickly, not mess about. Right, let's get this thing turned around and do this cruise test. Some altitude. You can see the amp drawer already, quite high. Right, let's get this. Return to launch. You know, Glenn, in cruise, you fall. Cruise mode. Right, let's get this in cruise. Kind of the same direction. Like that. Lose a bit of altitude. Put it down to cruise throttle. Okay.
what we got. It's pulling like just under well, 10 amps. Eighty-five ground speed, hundred and nineteen milliamp hours per kilometer. Ninety nine milliamp hours per kilometer, nine and a half amps. Hundred and six milliamp hours per kilometer. Around 10 amps, 10 and a half amps. Hundred and fifteen. Okay. Return to launch. Bring it back. And we'll do a speed test, 3.7 volts in the cells. I'm not going to give this big licks like the other two setups. It's going to give it a quick burst. See how hot that motor is on landing. Bringing it back. It's a beautiful day. Gotta say, beautiful day for mid October. Let's pop it into cruise. I don't want to get too low on the linear descent for those uh, power lines. Cruise mode. I like linear descent good for saving a bit of lipo but maybe I shouldn't turn it off now I don't do much long range so I'm never really in a situation where I need to be that worried I'll just do a quick punch against the wind Wait until the, it cycles round to the speed again. Right, punching it. Hundred and ten. Hundred and ten. Let's uh, bring it round and get the winds in our back. Go and punch it. Hundred and thirty eight. It's not as fast. How interesting, not as fast. So it looks like on initial messing about that um, either the sunny sky twenty two sixteen fourteen hundred KV with the APC eight by four point five. Or this motor, the Brother Hobby 2318 1250 KV with the um, 9x5. See what it sounds like. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Right, let's bring it into land and feel this motor. I'll try and land it as close to the car as possible so I don't have to walk too far or it doesn't cool down so much. Come on, down. Oh, it's quite close to the car. Right, let's go quickly. Let's go quickly and check that motor temp. Yeah, that motor temp, it's, I can pinch it and hold it and it's similar to, feels similar to the, the sunny side sky on the 8x4.5. So I didn't like that setup as much. So I've got one last LiPo to have a bit of fun with. Um, I'm going to put the 9x5 ear and up back on this setup with one more LiPo. Uh, then I'll go home and put all the results together. Uh, some landings in some fairly tough grass down there and it's a bit wiry and this uh, E6000 I put on the front leading edge of the fuselage looks like it's held up pretty well as an initial test I need a few more landings but yeah I'm pretty pleased with that pretty pleased with that so we'll see how that goes all these little tests on this test plane so much fun I'm really enjoying it okay front flight now and then we'll go home Friday night, have a beer. This hobby definitely has its ups and downs, no pun intended. The downs can be quite painful. Um, but when it works well, it works really well. So, brother hobby reunion. Reunion and the uh, Aeronaut Cam Carbon Light. Great setup, absolutely love it. A um, little bit more efficient than the Sunny Sky, but if you want a bit more oomph, then go Sunny Sky with an 8x4.5 APC. You won't be disappointed on 4S, of course. Okay, that's it. Uh, back to the ranch and uh, celebrate. Oh, and the another landing. That one went into that 
kind of went some kind of yellow stalky quite tough grass and uh, it stood up really well there's a couple of little tiny marks where but it's it's yeah I think that that you know if we coated the whole fuselage or the top of it at least in E6000 it might actually add quite a bit of extra strength to the foam but uh, yeah all good AR Pro I'm in love with you again that's it for now folks take care Okay, that was a great session in the field. I really enjoyed that. It's great having a test plane to be able to uh, mess around with. So just a quick summary then before we finish up. So the Sunny Sky 2216 1400kV um, with the uh, 8x4.5, how did it do? Well, at 35% throttle on a cruise, um, it was pulling 10 amps, um, giving us 117 milliamp hours per kilometre and uh, was running at um, 90 kilometers per hour so uh, pretty good um, it was the fastest of the three tests 150 with the back wind and 125 into the wind and its climb rate I would describe it as being good um, it, uh, it climbed really well uh, and the motor didn't get hot at all so uh, unlike the 8x6 that burnt this motor out I think that's probably going to be a good combination I really enjoyed flying that suited my style a lot um, the second option was the Brother Hubber Brother Hobby Reunion, um, that's the, uh, the 2318-1250 kV um, on the Cam Carbon Aeronaut. So these Aeronaut Cam Carbon props are superb. Um, they're not the cheapest props in the world and they are a little bit brittle, so that might put some people off. And because they're quite long, even with the SC braking, they do tend to brake quite regularly. So you know, be aware of that. But um, it was more efficient than the uh, 8x4.5 on the sunny sky. Um, it was pulling 100 milliamp hours per kilometre, um, only pulling 8 amps at the same throttle rating on cruise and delivering the same speed. Uh, obviously the wind does change but I tried to do the test as consistently as possible. So these results are reasonable I would say. Um, it was uh, you know, the second fastest, 146 with the back wind and 110 into the wind. So that was quite interesting. Um, and then finally we had the Brother Hobby uh, motor again with the 8x6 that burnt out the, uh, the, um, the motor um, on the sunny sky on the 1400kV. Um, and that performed, in my opinion, the worst. Um, I just didn't really like the feel of it. I don't know why, maybe it's just psychological. But um, in terms of its efficiency, um, 108 mil milliamp hours per kilometre. Uh, it was slower on the cruise at 85. Um, and it was pulling 10 amps, so, you know, nothing great there. And in terms of the speed test, um, it was actually the slowest, which, you know, my understanding of um, prop pitch and power and performance, I mean, I don't have any knowledge of that. I'm, I'm really flying this by feel and just using these basic, these basic kind of results here to help me. Um, but yeah, overall, for me, I think that the Sunny Sky with the 8x4.5 was the best combo. Um, although I do love the, uh, the, the Brother Hobby reunion. So I'm building two more AR Pros. I'm probably going to build one with the Br Brother Hobby motor on it because um, I really like the feel of that and it's a bit more efficient if I do want to go a little bit further long range. Um, but I think I'll be using as my kind of standard proximity flyer this combination of the Sunny Sky and the 8x4.5. Um, and these props are a lot cheaper and they're much more resilient with them being plastic. So yeah, um, that's the conclusion of this little test. Really enjoyed it. I'm um, going to get back on now and focus on the, uh, on the build of the uh, AR Pro. Um, just doing a video on the bolts of Elevons in detail. So see, I'm preparing that. So um, yeah, that's it for, for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed it. And I'll catch you on the next one.